Hello everyone, I just wanted to show you one of our favorite landscaping trees, one of my favorites anyway, and I'm um, just standing here looking at all these springtime flowers busting out, and it's just a beautiful time of year. I'm waiting to get my son off the bus, and uh, but anyway, I just wanted to show you this tree. This is just an amazing stand still. Styrax, Japanese Styrax. I think it's a Japanese variety that they call Styrax japonica or japonicus. But it is a beautiful tree. This one I planted about 12 years ago and it was a uh, ball and burlap from a nursery. I saw one of these at a customer's house when I was working and it just blew my mind and I hadn't seen them before. Um, but I, I tracked down the closest place to get one and, and put one in on our next order for, for trees and brought one home. And this is it after about 10 years, maybe 12. And they say they, I think if I remember right, about 20 to 35 feet tall and as well as wide. And just look how beautiful. The blossoms are so thick on this and the horizontal branching. The trunk kind of looks like a cross between an ironwood and a uh, like a crepe myrtle type of kind of twisty gnarly bark there. But look at these flowers looking up at them. Is that just amazing? <laughs> and they smell so good. It's just, but I mean, you know, you hardly ever see these. And I thought it was worth showing because this this is a kind of a fairly little known tree and it, it's growing well here in our area of Virginia, so I think it's worth a shot. I wouldn't plant it over a driveway or a pool because these uh, blossoms, when they wilt and get pollinated in fall, they definitely uh, create kind of a mess, but you just have to blow them with a leaf blower a little bit here and there, but I wouldn't plant it near a uh, eating area or something like that. Um, but look at that, it just, it's just hard to explain, and the smell is overpowering. So anyway, Styrax japonicus or japonica, and this is a, about a full grown version that's grown well. I've had to prune it here and there, just kind of taking out the weaker limbs and crossing limbs, and it does sucker a little bit, so you have to thin those kind of like a dogwood or something, but well worth it and easy to maintain. It seems disease free and resilient and just beautiful specimen. The branches definitely get weighed down by these blossoms, similar to a crepe myrtle when they really are doing the thick, thick, full out blooming. So you have to keep that in mind too. Um, they do lower down a couple of feet, but isn't that just a beautiful, beautiful tree? Just, just beautiful.